Thank you, oh, thanks, Adam. See you in April. Thank you, you, everybody. Suzanne's on the way next. We're cooking up a storm with Chef Ming Tsai. Goodbye from Las Vegas. The biggest joy in life for me is food and family. And the technique that gets food and family together is cooking. My entire life is about teaching. It's about showing people how to cook. Because there's this mystique out there that it's actually hard. It's so easy to make great food. The one goal with the Simply Ming collection is to get tools that are easy to use, that are affordable, but more importantly, psych you up, jazz you up, that you like, I can do this. You'll be amazed how easy it is to cook at home. And we are so excited because PBS superstar and, of course, acclaimed chef, Chef Ming Tsai, is here with us. We've got two big hours as we wrap up his amazing day. And we're going to start this hour off with something that is absolutely one of the most unusual kitchen pots or surfaces or you thing or accessory that you've ever seen. And it is our today's special. He's taking something we love, his great cookware. He's made it extra special tonight with big new improvements. And we'll tell you all about it. Here it is from Chef Ming Tsai, a brand new Today Special. This is your last look and your last chance and the last show with Chef Ming tonight. And we have a brand new silhouette and it's brilliant. First off, I love the new hammered finish. I think that's rustic and adorable and charming and fabulous, way durable. But what you're really gonna love about this is now you can take your stovetop and make it basically a mini oven with this very unique, unique, beautiful pan. On top of that, it's so brilliant. You have a gorgeous high dome lid. There is a thermometer built in and there's a brand new revolutionary nonstick, not your everyday nonstick, something that is so new and so exciting. And tonight, of course, we're giving you the scoop about it. It is a nonstick that is made even better than ever before. In fact, you can now use metal utensils with your Ming Tsai uh, cookware. So what are we talking about? Well, here it is, the stovetop oven. We've got a couple colors left. Now, you know, as we get to the end of the day, it always happens. We start to lose colors actually relatively quickly during the day and we've done just that. So let me go over your choices and then you'll meet Chef. You'll see what magic he's gonna bring us from grilling. We're even gonna smoke in this. How cool is that? So smoking inside this revolutionary new design. So there we go. First one you're seeing here is pewter. This is gonna sell out. Mm, I don't know, Matt, what are you thinking about? Two minutes? <laughs> Yeah, you get about five minutes on this one. So this one is almost completely sold out. And look at that new hammered finish. Oh my goodness. This is one of my favorites down below right here is the gorgeous copper bronze. Everybody loves it. Talk about rustic. But some of the most advanced non-stick technology that's ever been created is inside this beautiful rustic look. My favorite color, and it's what my Chef Ming pans are, will be the red. It is the most popular. We love the race car red. You can see it's beautiful. And then finally, and this is such a beautiful color up here, we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous gold. I mean, talk about jewelry for your kitchen, but it's the magic of this brand new interior that's changing everything about how you cook in your kitchen. So let me tell you the whole scoop. You get the lid with the new thermometer. Obviously, you get this beautiful silhouette, double-handled. You get six recipe cards, and you're also going to get a roasting rack included with this. So we'll talk about that in just a moment as well. But first, enough about that. We got to see the man of the hour. Hello, chef. Hey, Suzanne. How are you? How are you? Okay, so I'm in the hallway two days ago, and they're right. setting up your, your pots and your pans are all out right. there. This is out there. And I did one of these things. Wait a minute. What is this? And immediately, <laughs> my eye was caught with a brand new hammered finish. It's awesome, right? It is gorgeous. It, it, they're gorgeous pans, but more importantly, they really work. Hard it's the, it's the coolest pan um, I think we've done so far. I do, too. And the best way to, just like with the induction burner, I just want to show you why this is so cool. <laughs> Absolutely. So here's a classic searing steak technique. So simple. You sear a steak on one side, right, which I just got going. 
you flip your steak. First of all, just notice that great color the steak has because with the ceramic coating, Technolon Plus on steroids, right? Yeah. It's Technolon Plus Midnight Steel. What does that mean? Well, that means I can use metal tongs, right? That's right. In the pan. It's don't metal utensil safe. Don't scrape, right? Because be careful, but it's metal utensil safe. So here, normally I flip my steak and I would put my steak in the oven to finish because this is a thick steak. This is going to take about eight minutes in the oven. But what I'm doing is says I flip the steak and now it's going into its oven because wow. I'm going to wait till this hits 350 degrees, which would have been the temperature of my oven, and do that for that same just, you know, eight minutes total. And I take the cover off, let the steaks rest, and the steaks are done. That so is that, crazy. that's how it's combining. And without the thermometer, I mean, we cheat a little bit here because we have an amazing induction burner that actually shows the exact temperature. True. But, but on a regular stove top. On a regular stove top with gas or electric or hell, you have no idea what the temperature is. This will read the internal temperature of this oven. That's, That's crazy. It. But you mentioned smoking. Yeah. And this may be perhaps one of the coolest, coolest aspects of this. Let me show you. So we have both, uh, actually we ran out of one, we right? Only so have oak. We only have oak. Yeah. We, we did have hickory, right? Cameron's chips look at this you put just a little dusting like this now right? these are designed for indoor this designed is these for are indoor. smoking chips designed for indoor and notice use. how quickly it starts to smoke oh, i put so foil good. here and then i add my salmon why do i put foil i put foil because when the salmon drips down i don't want that oil putting out my smoke okay. so now i cover it. Oh, look the, at it the most ideal temperature for hot smoking is 250. Okay. so i'm going to watch this until this hits 250 and if this is going to be about nine minutes wait to try this salmon it is freaking I've heard about it all day long. It's Everybody's so raving about good. that. Okay, if you would like to get the, the indoor wood chips that are uh, available, we have 500 left. And my producer, Matt, he said those are going to be sold out in just a second, but they're specifically designed to work indoors. So they're very low smoke, but they get you just that lovely little touch of smokiness to the flavor. Right. Beautiful. Brie cheese. Yeah, right? love it. Puff pastry sometimes you bake in the oven. It's awesome. You're going to love this. This is smoking already go. Smoked brie cheese. Oh my it gosh. is so good. Do you know good. my husband has done that on the grill, but it takes forever. Big right. wood chips. Never would I do it, think oh, I could do it wait, indoors. Wait till tries it. It's oh, awesome. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this. No, what, what do we do here? So, wow. this is the extender ring. Right? And what that extender ring does is that it makes kind of the oven bigger because underneath you have the rack. Which is included. So even with this huge tall bowl, you can still put the cover on, right? Well, that is a big bowl. Oh, it's a, you'll, you'll see. So without the extender rack, you wouldn't be able to do this, right? Now, Check unfortunately, that. the extender rack is sold out. Oh, is it? Yeah. It, it's so overrated, this extender rack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's fine. <laughs> but, okay. But I, do, I do love the extender rack, honestly. All right, let's flip well, when this. when it's back in stock, how about that, Exactly. Chef, right? <laughs> Okay, so this is the most amazing cake that these guys started making here what kind at of cake HSN. Is it? What is it? It's the impossible chocolate. It's the impossible, it's the impossible chocolate, chocolate. Lawn cake. And it's that was in the. You did put it in. You can bring it out of the oven. Okay, no, no, yeah. no. This was the steamed on the stove knew, this top. Is oh, the, it's steamed on the stove top. It's wow, on the crazy. Top. Look at this. Oh, oh. hello. Oh, that's a thing of so beauty right there. So it's reverse. It's, it's the, the cream, the creme anglaise, or the, the um, cream's up top and the chocolate's on the bottom because we flipped it. <laughs> but when right? you make it, you put the chocolate in the bowl first, right. the flan on top, and as it cooks, they reverse. That's, oh, do they really? Yeah. Oh, that's so it, it cool. Just, that's why it's going, but, take, but look at this. So really what you're doing is, for the very first time ever, and no one's ever done this before, your stovetop becomes your oven when you want it to be. Oh. And you know what's really interesting? We talk about it a lot, but I have to tell you, Chef, just the shape and the size of just the pan alone, I'm in love. Right. Like this is such a deep, nice shape. It's beautiful. It's beautiful for serving. It looks great when you're cooking with it. And then if you need a stove top, if you want an oven on your stove top, it's this simple. Right. How easy, you don't have to heat up the oven. Right. You don't have to heat up all the burners on your stove. You just literally put the lid on and all of a sudden this converts into a mini oven and, on your stove top. And, be, and the fact that it's domed means, and you'll see with the extender ring, you can do a whole prime rib. Now, a big piece of meat you're gonna throw into the oven, right? Because right. it's gigantic. Right. Um, but oh. something like this, these are done from raw. Okay, that's crazy. These are just smoked pork chops with smoked acorn squash. 
and a no tomato. Way. These are so delicious. And you know, with the lid on, it's not generating a wild amount of smoke at oh, all. Oh, not at all. Yeah. Not like, at all. So this would be something, a technique you could do easily in your kitchen. I mean, not I, I always talk about, you know, you are what you eat, right? Sure. And, you know, you got to worry about logically how much salt and sugar and whatnot. I'm always as a chef saying, okay, what can we do to make something still taste good? That's acid, lemon juice, lime juice, vinegar. Smoke is another ingredient without any guilt you can add to food. It makes it taste better, doesn't add one calorie. Uh, it's great. And then with these little this little smoking chips, it's fantastic. Okay, and chef, you were just working with the pewter. If you want yes. the pewter, I have 190 left. So the pewter's the next to sell out. We'll be down to three colors. So if you saw this earlier with chef and you're, I love the fence, you know, I love people who are the fence sitters. You're like, okay, that is one of the most brilliant ideas in the world, right? And you're going, oh, should I get this? I would highly recommend we're going to do this presentation and the next, and we expect everything to sell out before midnight and please remember if we happen to have any left it's not 49.95 in a couple of hours literally in two hours it goes up to almost $100 we have great for flex pay on this that'll be eliminated at midnight but if you really want to try chef's line if you say hey you know what I want a pan that's so unique and unusual I can serve a salad out of it I can grill I can smoke I can oh. saute I can bake we really haven't talked about it but yes you can bake in here Sorry, either I'm stove top or oven. Here, that is a good noise <laughs> that's, look you at got that. my attention. Look at that. Oh my God. I mean, that's, that's, wow. that's such a great piece of pork. That's beautiful. Cooked. But look how tall this is, right? If this isn't a pan with a flat lid, no couldn't way. It would, you couldn't do it, right? right? So you have to have that dome lid. So this pan is also could do a huge quantity. Yeah. So sear, smoking, steaming, roasting, and of course, as you see me make fried rice, this is going to be even a healthier fried rice than you see me make. You can use this pan just as a normal wok, right? It has the shape of a wok, yeah, sure. or what's called a sauteuse, which the French do. And here's just my normal scrambled eggs, right? And yes, that's a fork, which is fine. Scrape the eggs, right? You want the eggs to cook. And this fried rice is going to be healthier than the ones I've been making lately, because what we're going to do is add all of these great vegetables, raw vegetables. Yellow squash, zucchini, bell peppers, carrots, all of this raw in. And then I have like any good Chinese household, or a lot of households down the world, we have leftover rice. Right? Oh, is there, yeah, yeah. We always have Absolutely. leftover rice, right? Absolutely. I mean, next in household in town, they have it as well, but we yeah. always grew up always. with leftover rice. And this is leftover, just a combo uh, house rice. Okay. Little, my favorite shiitake, it's a vegetarian, um, kind of like oyster sauce, made from shiitake mushrooms. And this is done. I'm just gonna cover this and let the pan do the rest. That's Cause cool. Cause what's gonna happen is all the fresh vegetables are going to start exuding water. That creates the steam and that will cook the rice. You mix it, you're done. Is it, it, see, isn't that brilliant? Also too, I love the fact you grab that fork and you never let go of it. So yeah, he no. didn't even care. Most of the time when Chef comes on, even with his regular nonstick, you gotta be a little careful with it. But I love it, Chef. You just grab that fork. You didn't even think about it. You just use the fork oh, yeah, and said, no. oh, I'm and just gonna great. use it. And that's that's the new feature and about this midnight steel. You book. guys, if you have, and I have before too, I have Chef Ming's cookware. I love it. If you love that nonstick, imagine now it's revolutionary in terms of that it's so much better. It yeah. is such a next step, a next level up in nonstick that yes, dishwasher safe, but it doesn't matter because you just wipe it out. Yes, you can now use metal utensils. We've never been able to say that before, but this is, the and it's ceramic nonstick, which yeah. is the buzz everybody talks about and, this and it's not just ceramic nonstick it's it's midnight steel, steel. that's yeah. it's the hardest ceramic coating in the world today amazing period Absolutely amazing. And, and please don't forget that ceramic coating is not all about nonstick it's so hard and dense that means it helps conduct the heat evenly which oh. is why that steak cooked evenly everywhere oh that's interesting and here's one. I, want, I want you guys to see just the interior of this isn't this it's absolutely stunning this is a game changer for you what does it do it makes your life easier first off you're going to cook more and more versatile than ever before because of this very unique design second the cleanup is a breeze you're not soaking pans ever again right. and nobody wants to soak dumb pans and wake up the next morning and go great first thing you have to do is yeah. scrub a bad pan no that ends right here and right now and i'll tell you what 
If I just came out, Chef, we could come out every day, all day long, bring out this brand new hammer design that I am beyond nuts over. You guys are gonna go crazy when you see this amazing texture. If I just brought this out, it's a 12 inch pan with the latest and strongest ceramic nonstick on the face of the earth. How much would you spend if you went to a gourmet store, like a gourmet kitchen shop? This pan would be a couple of hundred dollars, oh, uh, yeah, right? Easily. Exactly. Now let's make it a stove. Let's make it an oven on our stove by this wildly unique brand new lid that has a special job to it. It's going to change your stove top into a mini oven. I just, I am so excited about this chef. Yeah, and I you know tell. what? You, I am but too. you know what's neat is that once again, you know, you look at things so differently. He actually has an engineering. You studied engineering, right? Yeah, I did. And um, you you bring that to this design. You can see it clearly in this design because of yep. adding the thermometer inside there. How clever is that? It's it's just a way of maximizing what you have in your kitchen and. <laughs> look at that, excuse me, look at the amount of ribs. Wow. This this also is an accessory. And it's available by the so way. So by the way, that, that, that's how much is a tablespoon of the smoke. That's all we use. You're so when it's me. when it's completely done, it's black, right? Yeah. Again, you want the foil so the, the fat you see doesn't hit it and keep smoking. But look at that color that smoke gave these. Oh. I mean here, you should just Yeah, thank you. I was hoping you'd hand yeah. me I didn't want to I didn't want to no, 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 you. You'd be the only <laughs> host. You'd be the only host that doesn't go in and grab stuff. I was, I was I mean, gonna seriously. bump you over and get okay. it. Won't be the last time. Oh my gosh. But the smoke <gasps> is so good, right? It's that's a very shocking. That is shocking. What shocking. do you mean that's shocking? I've cooked my whole life. This is what I do. I'm a no, chef. Who would have thought you could uh, smoke indoors? Okay. Yes, it's I know. Smoking indoors. I'm just kidding. It's smoking indoors. You're so funny. But you know what's really neat? It's subtle too. It's yeah. not an overwhelming, it's totally heavily subtle. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful thing. So, <laughs> searing, doing beautiful cakes, ribs, pork. You can also go super healthy. Again, this extender ring is fantastic to get a lot of massive food going. <laughs> Steaming is a fantastic way you know, of cooking, right? You're just teasing people with that ring. Everybody get rid of the rings on the set if you want, Oh, yeah, please. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. People at home going, I'll get that. No, you won't. Well, so yeah, Unfortunately, good point. you have to wait until we get it back in stock. But if you got it, here's another idea for you if you got it earlier. Hey, and by the way, that's a funny tip, though. If you want that little V-rack you saw or you want the wood chips, all the matching pieces back to our today's special are basically almost sold out, i.e. the extender ring, unfortunately, is gone. But you know what? Let's just talk about having that yeah. rack and being able See to this steam. Up. Look at this. So there's a little color on these, a little bit dark. It's not because of soy sauce. It's because we added tea leaves to the water. No because, kidding. Because water has no That's flavor. Clever. I don't care where you're from. Water has no flavor. Right? So by adding tea, this veg and this chicken was actually steamed in tea. That's awesome. And this has no added fat. The only fat is in the chicken breast without skin, which is so little. Can the veg smell this? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> And the best thing to do oh. is just a little bit of acid. Lemon juice, lime juice, really? or vinegar, that's gonna be an incredibly, incredibly healthy dish. This smells amazing. What Lemon. kind of tea did you use? Uh, it's jasmine, largely really? jasmine. Really, no kidding. Right. Wow. And then of course here. Ooh. You, you so can't. happy you I did mean, the mac oh and cheese. God, look how and much the crew mac and is cheese. always really happy oh about this God. one. <laughs> look how much there is. So this I just gonna pour out. It's I mean, it's so a big capacity in this silhouette, isn't it? Gooey. Look at, that. look at this. Is your mouth yeah. watering yet? Oh I know it is. Oh my God! Look at I that. I know. Oh baby. Wait, what's your favorite cheeses for mac that. and cheese? Gruyere, yes. by bar none. Mm -hmm. I mean, straight Gruyere is great. Sometimes there's parm, sometimes there's other stuff, but Gruyere is my go-to cheese. That's it? Yeah, because it melts well and it has that great saltiness uh, and that great funk of the cheese that I like. Gotta love it. But Gotta look how much, it. I mean, can we just talk about quantity? It's a lot of mac and cheese. Well, in how many people you think you're feeding in this? And there's our Oh my God, you're feeding 10? Yeah, easily. Right? Got, can you hold this for a second, yep. Chef? Look at this. I just want to show you, this isn't a bowl bowl. This isn't a little cereal bowl. It is a huge bowl. So all all of that came out of this gorgeous silhouette. Yes, yeah, Chef, yep. I'll take it back. Thank you. Um, oh, sorry. But, no, it's okay. But I just wanted you guys to see. So I think sometimes when you're at home, you lose perspective on what a bowl size is right. on television. That is a serving bowl. All right, so look at this. Again, I just want to show you. And Matt, do me a favor. How many do we have left in the pewter? I'm going to run over here, guys. Okay, so let me go over here, guys, real quick. Because unfortunately, that pewter, yeah, I'm going to show it to you one more time. Because after this little update, we're not going to have it anymore. So if you want the pewter, I'm going to hold it still, believe it or not, guys. I know it's unusual for me. Can I get a second? I just want to show up really close, especially this hammered finish. It stopped me in my tracks the other day. I run around this studio like a chicken with my head cut off, and I literally saw this and came to a complete halt. This hammered textured effect.
effect is rustic and charming and beautiful and yet crazy durable. Look at the bottom of the pan too. That helps with the way it cooks, the way it heats, how even the heating is. It's gorgeous. And then obviously it's brilliant lid. So there's your last look. Now here's an issue. I think the gold is amazing. To have gold in your kitchen, it's like having gorgeous gold jewelry. You know, how often do your eye, does your eye just go to that beautiful piece of gold that you see on, on somebody's wrist? Well, now imagine your kitchen looking like this. Now, a little heads up. If you really want to overhaul your collection, I have a six-piece cookware set coming up that will match back to this, and that will be breathtaking. If you've got a bride getting married, you want to give an amazing cookware set, get the six-piece, get our today's special. I'm telling you, you have basically every piece can you'll ever need. Then the red. Red's always the number one seller. It happens to be the color that I have. Again, I have the matching hammered six piece coming up. We have an eight quart stock pot coming up in the hammer that's going to sell out. So stick around because if you're following in love with this, if you're following in love with this brand new nonstick ceramic, it's called Midnight Steel. It is the most nonstick, most durable ceramic that's available on the market today. And again, Chef has utilized it inside here. Why? Easy clean up and you can just use it. You don't have to baby. You can use metal utensils for the first time. And then down below, this is the copper bronze. If you love that French style kitchen, that very traditional kitchen, if you just love the color of copper because it's so rich and beautiful, think of a beautiful shiny copper penny, how attractive that is. That is the copper bronze. So right now we've sold almost 9,600 today. Why get it tonight? Because, well, you know what? You can wait if you'd like, but at midnight, it goes to $99. And I don't know. I don't want to spend an $99. If I can only spend $49, that's pretty good. All right, Chef, what are you working on now? So, remember the steaks we started with? Yes. Mm -hmm. Seared one side, flip it, cover on, 350 roast, wow. let it rest. Look at that. Oh my God. Perfect medium all the way through. These were the onions and shiitakes, that's and they gorgeous. were, those got caramelized, and then all I did was just add two pats of butter to just give this extra unctuousness and umami. And hello, that's all you need. Steak and mushrooms. I grew up eating this. That's, that is amazing. And again, you did that. it not in the oven. You created an oven. Right. Because this converts to an oven. And then here, clean up is such a breeze. And you take all the, I gotta get these mushrooms out. And this pan's ready to go again, Isn't that right? Funny? That's funny. By the awesome. way, it also doesn't retain stra sta uh, stains. No, look right? at this though. What Check is this? What is this? Oh, oh my gosh, my is this God. salmon? Look at that oh, salmon. Oh, you guys got to see this. You have to look at right? that. Now Man. that went in raw just a couple of minutes ago. Oh, yeah. And check that I got maybe. my fork. Fork alert. Look, Check I found this. a fork. Okay, wait, wait. Boom. Chef, like that. that looks amazing. Now, this right. is with the smoking feature. If you missed out, you have these little indoor smoking chips. And I know, Matt, we have, what, maybe 300 left in those? We can't have hardly anything. Anyway. Yeah, last call. But you literally, can you show them you use this as a smoker? Yeah, so you're the oh, rack. Oh, yeah, get gosh. in there. Oh, please. Actually, I'm gonna, I want to slice so people can see what this looks like inside. Oh, chef. Right? Oh, my gosh. But look how moist it still is. Isn't that oh. amazing? That's amazing, right? That smoky taste. It's right? just perfect, Look at you guys. Oh my God, I love this. I want to make sure you guys can really see how oh, perfectly the cooked. Of and that. that's perfectly that's cooked. It's Don't still hot, it's yeah. smoky, but oh. that's a perfect. For me, I mean, I hate when salmon's completely pink. I want a little bit of that translucency. Yeah. yeah, just yeah. a little bit. But just that little hint of smoke. And yes, this can smoke. Right. Indoor smoking for the very first time in a beautiful silhouette that you can oh. use every single day. Oh, look at the brie. Look oh, at that. I love smoke brie. <laughs> right? I have to be honest I mean, with you. I come love on. smoke brie. Come on, baby. That is come so to mama. And notice we don't have smoke bellowing around the studio. You wouldn't even know that was smoking until you took the lid off. Isn't yeah. that funny? It, right. You don't but even notice it. Watch this, though. Oh, oh. Hey, we're talking about molten chocolate <laughs> cakes, but hollow. Oh, my gosh. That right? looks so good. Here you go. I'll give you a okay. little. Okay. Yeah, thank you. You have to try he this. He knows I'm hungry. Well, it's just the smokiness, okay. the rind and all that cheese. I mean, look how good that looks. Mm. It elevates oh a gosh, normal chef. piece of brie to a level that's unbelievable. Chef, that is un... Right? That really is unbelievable. It's so good. I mm. love it. I love it. That's insane. Get the smoky chips. Get the little chips before they're gone because I that's crazy. You. So again, because of this rack, this rack you use to smoke, this rack also you can oh, steam one, right? Yeah. And this is why I love the induction burner. 
because if I was actually eating at home on a Sunday, I would actually take this whole thing with the burger, with the pan, and put it in the middle of the table. Wouldn't that be fun? And have it on low. And then you just could eat your dim sum like you wish. And by the way, take this to the table, yeah. e even without the burner. It's gorgeous. Because you have hot water that's going to keep it hot. And then maybe if you your teenager is still sleeping, he comes down at an hour later, it's still going to be hot. Yeah. Right? But, and I mean, look how beautiful this is just as on its own. If it didn't smoke, if it, if it wasn't a mini oven on your stovetop, right. just for $49.90, I'm all in on this. Right. Really, when you oh, think sure. about it, And by rack. the way, if you look at this, this is why it can't be a flat top. If it's a flat top, it would smush them. Sure. Sure. That's sure. why you have to have the, the dome, dome lid. lid, which also, you know, there's this the one big uh, outdoor thing called the egg My that works on one of those. indirect heat. It hits the top and comes down, just like a tandoori oven. Same thing here. Heat hits here and goes back down. That's great. Does that mean Keeps you're cooking it. quicker as well? More efficiently. More yeah. efficiently. Less energy exactly. and, and Less more energy. Efficient. Okay, exactly. very good. All right, so again, Peter almost gone. We've got the race car red with the beautiful gold that's insanely gorgeous. And of course, that bronze copper that's so pretty. Oh, it is gone. Oh, okay, guys, sorry. Peter is now completely sold out. Now, again, please remember, and, and I will tell you, we knew this was going to be a really fun show tonight. I promise you, we have really cool stuff coming up. But if you want our today's special, now's the perfect time to get it. I am down to three choices only. And you know what? Don't fret over the color. I have red just because when I bought mine a long time ago, I bought your walk, right? Right. And you a know I love ago. that thing. A long time Four ago. Four years ago, basically. You know what? Red was the only color available, and I went, okay, I'm going to wear use red. And you know, right. to this day, I totally love it. I, I actually admire looking at it in my kitchen. I actually leave it out, Chef. I don't put it away. Right. That's how beautiful the pans are. And that's with the original brilliant nonstick. The nonstick in the new Hammered Collection is revolutionary, and it's also evolutionary. Yes. It is the strongest, most durable efficient non-stick in the ceramic world and everybody wants ceramic because it's a great great surface to cook on but now you get what's called the midnight steel finish which means heats better cooks easier cooks faster yep. and the cleanup is a snap so again because we're busy I would absolutely not wait until chef's final look at this because unfortunately we're gonna lose more colors while we move on so just stay right there for the three colors that are left also too I know it's floating around here somewhere but Chef, you did a really cool cookbook. Where I is the did. cookbook up? Uh, right there in front. Here, oh, there it is. It's, oh, it's more than 100 pages, and it's called Stovetop Oven Cookbook. Now, what's really neat is you think, well, sure, maybe I'll do a roast in here, and an oven. Maybe I will try that smoking thing. How cool is that to smoke indoors, right? But this actually takes you through appetizers, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's a ton of really, really clever, fabulous recipes from clam chowder to spaghetti. There's that salmon recipe, stir fries, shrimp scampi, classic stew, just goes on and on and on and that's still available but unfortunately once again we're down to only a few left we don't have a lot of these remaining but that goes back to our fabulous today's special ah. okay now did you see that v-rack that chef was working with too he did a pork on there it was beautiful we are down to the final 200 it's 14.95 this oh thank, wait, thank you who is that is that eric you're so fast <laughs> okay i was going to show it to you i show it real quick guys can i show it live now, we just want you to see it. And again, it's designed to specifically fit inside our today's special. Isn't that beautiful? Although, it might work in the, it'll work in the eight court, wouldn't it, Matt? I think it'll work in the eight court, too, wouldn't it? Coming up? Yeah, of course. Anyway, I just want to show you that. We're down to the final 200 of that. So that is the roasting, um, the roasting uh, rack. Okay, the chips. Okay, we're down to the oak. And I will tell you, that's what Chef was working with on the set. And the flavor is so spectacular. It, you can, it's a subtle smoke. It's not a heavy overdone. And it's just a beautiful result. He did it with the brie cheese and also with the salmon. Unbelievable little something that's added to it. Oh, I am all over that smoking concept. But again, designed for indoor use. We're down to the final 200 in that, under $10. And I really encourage you to try it. My husband does a lot of smoking. He has an egg, he's got a big smoker. It takes hours and days and it's crazy. I would never do it myself, but I absolutely would do smoking inside the house with uh, chef's system because I can. It's not hard. It's uncomplicated. And my husband would be so jealous. He's like, wait a minute. I put all this time in and you did it that quick. <laughs> I'd love that, by the way. All right. A little earlier today, we did one airing of this. And my gosh, talk about glorious. Here we go. 150 left. This will be a sellout. This is the brand new Elite Hammered Ceramic Nonstick. It is the eight cork stock pot. You have never seen a stock pot more beautiful than this and more durable and more usable is that not 
glorious. You could do a roast beef, you could do a stew, you could do a lobster bake if you want to. There's so many things you can do inside here. Big pasta meal, you can do it. A one pot meal, it'll work inside here as well. $59.95. Normally, and this is brand new, $99.95. You are seeing the last couple hundred in each. Here's this beautiful gold. Down below, we've got the silver pewter. And then finally, here is that copper bronze. By the way, if you have Chef's other colors from his original sets, remember, even though this is hammered, it's still going to match back to your original set. So you can move into the hammered world and it'll all work together, which is lovely. What do you love most about this, Chef? <sighs> I love the size. Eight quart is gargantuan. And it's so, not an ugly big stock so, pot. Most stock so pots are this, pretty ugly. We've been cooking a lot of prime rib, so we have this prime rib bone in here, mm. three of them. Oh, so no. here's a fantastic just beef stock, right? And if you've been reading, by the way, here's a trick when you have grease. Centrifugal force, twist it, and the grease falls off. So now this is pure broth. Oh, well, that's right? a great trick. Thank right? you. You see that? There's oil, so there. Making your own broth, bone broth, is so good for your body, right? It's, you know, mama's chicken soup, right? It's, it's true. Make your own broth. So when you have your extra chicken stock or chicken bones or turkey bones or beef bones, make it. But look how much you can do from this. And from this, I make sauces and I make soups, right? <laughs> Here, we have... <laughs> how many did you do? I, I don't know. I don't even know how many we did. Two, three. A lot. <laughs> and you know, why not? Put some butter on top. Present it this way. Let let your corn melt the butter That's when you great. present it, right? And then I like people call it weird. I like salt and pepper on my corn. I don't know. Some people are pure and do only salt. Some do nothing. You know what? I love Mexican corn. Oh my you god, it's the, the mayo. best. Oh, the <laughs> mayonnaise. The best kidding me? corn ever is Mexican corn. <laughs> and because we can go fancy, a little bit of chopped parsley. Awesome. Right, but again, it's about the size, um, and you know, just just for yuck's sakes, look, because it's the Technolon Plus, because it conducts on the side and up, you have a simmer everywhere, not just in the center, not just on one side, not just on another side, and here you have just an amazing amount of chili, oh my right? Goodness. I mean, look how much chili this is. Literally, it doesn't matter how many people you have in your family. You have more chili than you would ever need for a party. That's awesome. I, I mean, mean, look at and this. And you know what? I do, do I, be honest to goodness truth. Most stock pots are hideous. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're, i got to be honest, they're ugly, right? They're big and they're tall. They're not, they're not presentable. No. They're literally utilitarian big pots. Right. You would never take them out to the table and plop them you in the center of the table. You would never take them. And no. this, when you go to that next buffet party in oh. your neighborhood, your block party, all yep. that, yep. you bring all your stuff in this. If you need a good hostess gift, hello. Oh. Leave your chili, your mac and cheese, your beef, you know, yeah. for the host with this. Can you imagine? You will done. be invited back. Oh, you'll okay, totally be invited back. Okay, copper bronze, first to go. These are all going to sell out. I'll just give you a heads up. We aired them one time, and more than half our quantity went in one airing earlier. That was, right. like a, you know, earlier today. It, again, we all need these great stock pots, but typically you never present them. You would never be proud of them. This is one that you actually would compliments on. No one compliments you on a big, ugly stock pot. This one one is gorgeous. I love what you said, chef. Gift, 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 gift. Yep. Do you have that foodie, that uh, home chef, and she's got her birthday coming up? She will flip. And it really doesn't matter the color. They just all work. But get it for that foodie in your life. We have three flex pays on this, but again, so important to understand. Last chance at this price. Everything in the show is very much like a today's special. You're getting the last opportunity and the last look at it. But chef, this really is something to be proud of. And I would I never it. show off a stock pot in a million years. No. <laughs> no, not at all. And, and for me, this is perfect. So when I do make chili or beef bourguignon or coco van, I want to I make it for 10. I can't cook for four. Right, I just right. can't. And I fill this up. And then you know, to the dismay of my children, sometimes they get that chili for a few days. But I'm like, you guys, come on. We're Chinese. We're not going to throw it away. Right. We're not throwing it away. And look, it's just, I love it because you can put, like, especially Thanksgiving, when you have that huge turkey carcass, this could take it so easily. Oh, gorgeous. Right? Gorgeous. I mean, eight courses that you're never going to need more stock than this. Well, let's say you just want to do a lobster boil. You know, you want to do yeah. a seafood night. Um, maybe oh, you, you say you, you know, get what, ten or twelve lobsters. Well, maybe you're, you know, I was the mom that and we always had to cook for the football team. You know, this is the kind of pot that you go, okay, I'm going to my friend's house where you right. know all the moms used to take food to one person's house, yep. and we knew we had to cook in massive size for these boys. And so again, walk in, plop this down. This could be a salad. It could be a giant potato salad. It could be a macaroni salad. It could be a macaroni. You know, if you make a beautiful the largest mac and cheese, souffle in the world, a no. giant souffle. <laughs> yeah, now oven safe, correct? Oh, it's 550 degrees. Yeah. Oh, and you know what we did. 
can explain this as well as the Today Special works right. on any stovetop. Every surface. Yeah. Induction, of course, as you see. Gas, electric, halogen. It works everywhere. And and they they are, I mean, they're so beautiful. Do and I don't, I never design, okay, I want it beautiful and if it works, whatever. No, I design it, it has to be, it has to work. Right. But if it can really work with Technon Plus and nothing sticks and conducts heat and is beautiful, that's yeah, a win. And by the win. way, a stock pot of this size, it doesn't matter what it looks like or is coating or not, just any pot this size, you're easily north of 100, probably north of $200. Totally. Period. Yeah, no, you're right? completely correct. All right, so. copper bronze is now gone. Last call on the champagne, last call on the pewter silver. Don't miss out on those two. And again, gorgeous, right? Yeah, again, I love the fact that wedding season's right around the corner. This would, again, be an amazing wedding gift. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, just one moment. <laughs> my producer in my ear, he's so funny. All right, the, look at these, you ready? This is gonna blow you away. One, can I set these out? These are like, I am so I crazed over this. Look at these. Now there are 150 left, they're brand new today, we've never had them on the air. You get three of these fantastic hammered mixed prep and more bowl set. All three for $49.95. Now trust me, if you walked into a beautiful, beautiful, like a kitchen shop, one of those specialty stores, how much would you pay for a big bowl like this? Just And it would never look this good. It'd just be like stainless steel and blood, nothing going on. How gorgeous is that in that copper finish? So I just wanna show you these. Last chance, we will not have them after tonight because they are totally gonna sell out, but I wanna make sure you knew they were available. Yes, chef? And Mom. this, this a little nubby helps yeah. mix stuff even better. Oh, really? Such as it's an important nubby. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. We have more with Chef Mingsai. <laughs> Join me, Brett Chuckerman, for Healthy You, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Take charge of your health and wellness. Our trusted experts provide products, solutions, and tips created to enhance every part of your life, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Now there's more to love than ever, and we're celebrating with a huge sweepstakes. There's no purchase necessary. Just visit hsn.com or qvc.com and enter sweepstakes once per 24 hours for a chance to win top brand prizes. Then each entry counts toward the $100,000 grand prize. Now through March 11th, only on HSN and QVC. Who knew a little piece of plastic could be so much fun? Now, when you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. Now, when you use your HSN card, you get extra flex all day, every day on all jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases. Plus, no interest VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. shows. He's an acclaimed chef, cookbook author, a wonderful philanthropist, a great dad and father, which is always nice, and husband. I have to add that in there, yes, don't I? Important. And really, we're so excited to have him here tonight because he's bringing us such great innovation. This next one, near and dear to my heart, because you know what? If you're trying to eat healthy, what's the one thing we really missed? And that's good old fried food. Well, imagine yes. if you could get the taste and the crunch of fried food with zero guilt. And that's what he's done with his very unique air fryer. Now, chef, there are plenty of air fryers out there. There's, There's lots a lot of, of them. them. But you've really changed this up. The, it's, it's so simple. When I design an appliance, I actually, and they won't do it because of, of the law, I don't want them to put in a, an instruction booklet. I think you should be able to open a box and totally oh. know how it works. And here we have two dials. You plug it in, you turn on it with the timer, so it's on, timer 10 minutes, and then you set the temp. That's it. So you don't need an instruction manual. But to your point, wings. Check these out. Yeah. These are, <laughs> these were raw, seasoned with spice, Gosh, right? They're sizzling. They're listen sizzling. Listen to that, listen. Right? I mean, these are crispy, listen to that. These are crispy wings. Oh, and look how much of this fat 
came off of these wings that you're not eating. It's not wallowing. All right. Yet. So that and you're, you're not, not eating. Them in fat. <laughs> and you're not frying. So it renders the fat off, and you get super crispy wings mm -hmm. without adding any oil. And something like this. Wait, say that again, because everybody's like, right. that can't possibly happen. You get happen. super crispy wings, like intense convection, yeah. crispy like it was fried, but not one extra gram of fat. As a matter of fact, negative comes out, which is that. All is that it, fat remember comes I out said, of it. Remember I said the fried food taste, the crunch, the flavor's unbelievable. It's not coated with greasy stuff and none of the guilt. Now, I gotta give it a little heads up on this too, Chef. Yeah. We have black and red. That's all we have available. I have 800. This is gonna be last call on this as well tonight. If you've never tried air frying, I highly recommend this. Um, my husband was a real skeptic. I brought one home and I'm right. like, no, we gotta air fry because we're trying to eat healthier, obviously. And he, it is unbelievable how often and he uses that. He uses it almost every single day. Does he really? Oh my gosh, he does everything in it. Every From reheating to actually making food, he does his wings in there. Oh, absolutely. No, so, so it's not only about just reheating fries um, or cooking fries, it's also about cooking from raw, which is right. like, which those, um, these wings were, right? Right. The separator's cool, just in case, you know, you have little kids that don't want to have sweet potato with regular. I like both, right? Mm -hmm. But these are so crispy and delicious all the way through. I mean, here, you go, oh, have yeah. one. And guys, they give you the same crunch and the same texture and the same satisfaction that right. truly fried food does. Um, chef also has made the actual body of the, of the vat. Oh, sorry, Chef. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to show you. What he's done is he's changed the way the air circulates inside here. Right. There are many air fryers out there, but what they do, Chef, explain, they only cook Yeah, maybe from the we can bottom. bring up the animation can because yeah. we, we, yeah. That's, uh, we, the, the joy deal. of working with Joy Mangana and her whole team is that we can take a concept and make it better, but apply engineering principles. So PV goes on RT, but here, check this out. This is the animation. So just like when you ski and it's cold out and there's a wind, you feel colder, wind chill factor. Well, the opposite happens, which is a heat factor. So here we have the double blades and we force air through it, but because it's hot air going through, it then ha makes it even hotter, like a convection oven, right? So it's super hot air, but then as you'll see what we've done is the, the air comes in on an angle, yep. and that's because, and I'll show you just when, and when we come out of the animation, that there these kind of, these so they're like these, gills. They are almost. they're aerodynamically done just like in An wind airplane. tunnels, right? Yeah. Exactly. So the, all the the air comes in and it actually creates a tornado. So the the super high air goes through the food underneath on the side on the top everywhere, and that's why this works so well. Wait, and here's what counts, is a lot of the air fryers out there only heat from the bottom up, and what happens, right. it, all the stuff in the middle is still not kind of cooked right. It doesn't have that crispness. Correct. Because of the way it has those air tunnel gills on it, everything inside and out, top down, and all the way through it gets crisp. It gets that fried-like flavor and texture and taste. That is a really big differentiator from everything else that's out there. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a big, big deal. All right, so I love this too because we have some Cute so here's some surf and turf. I'm gonna slice up, but look, I just listen to this. Two frozen <laughs> chicken breasts, frozen. right? I mean, these are seriously frozen chicken breasts. And this, I'm gonna put it on 12 minutes on high, and that's gonna be enough to cook. But this is so cool. Here's our surf and turf that we just did. That's great. Right? So you can easily cook a meal for one. Oh wow! And I'll just go ahead and slice this up, present it on the board like this with three beautiful shrimp, and just lay this shrimp like that on top. Right? I mean, hello. I mean, that that is a meal for anyone that likes surf and turf. I, I mean, seriously, how does that look? And I like that little basket. There's some accessory yes. pieces that go back to this. We have the air fryer cookbook, which is going to blow your mind because there'll be things you can do in here you thought were impossible. 160 pages, customer pick two flex pays. We also have the three-piece nonstick bake set. And you'll see Chef pulling out little things every now and then. That's using the bake set. Um, you do get the divider with this unit. And we also have, do we start with the, pop, the popcorn maker? Is it available too? Yes, yeah, so we have a few of those if you want to make popcorn inside here. Really healthy, good popcorn. Now, Chef, you did some uh, We did pencils, salmon. asparagus, and nice. salmon, right? Yeah. And then, um, and normally I would wash it, obviously, because there's salmon, but I just want to show you. I think the hot dog's one of the coolest things in the air fryer. great. Make sure you watch. This is a raw hot dog. Yeah. And Do they, not these, tune away. <laughs> these will puff up like better than any, any yeah. place in New York City or Chicago. <laughs> And then we even do breakfast, right? right? So here we have our version of a muffin sandwich, right? 
So here you have a sausage, some melted <laughs> cheese. Here we have the ramekin that has an egg in it. So then I can take that egg and that gets served. And that's as, any ramekin, right? You don't need oh, any special, ramekin, right? right? Yeah. And then there's your breakfast. So great. within six minutes, you have yeah. breakfast, right? Right, right. Great. right, let me put in some Pizza bites here. And you know what's nice too? If you're really busy and you have a busy family life and you're like, you're tempted to go through the drive-thru, yeah, grab it out of the freezer and throw it in there. All the french fries, if you want to do the little chicken bites, yeah. if you want to do the little popper things, it'll turn out great inside here. Also, you can do more healthy cooking like you've done there. Um, in the black, yes, Matt? Yeah. Oh no, the black's almost gone. I have 150 in black, and then I only have about 500 left in the red. And again, don't let color be an issue on this. And one thing is so cool, uh, my, my son Henry is 15 now, but when he was 13, I would let him go all day long with the air fryer. He can't burn the house down with an air fryer, right? I'm not gonna have my son make potstickers with a pan and flame and all that when he's 12 years old. But with the air fryer, I mean, he can't, there's no damage can be done. Right. So he would easily, he could put potstickers in or put a snack in and heat himself. And, he, and look, kids love that independence too, right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And check this out. So this so is a- parents. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> So here, here is a, just a fantastic cake that I'm gonna just flip real quick. Oh yeah, baby. And that's with the baking set, right? The three pieces. This is part of the set. baking set, yeah. correct. All right. How clever this is this though? You can actually bake a cake. Isn't that fun? Bake a dessert. Look at that. Oh man, oh right. gosh. That and turned then, out awesome. And here we go. We get the little lava coming oh. out of here. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, look how good this is. <laughs> look at that ooey gooeyness wow. coming out of this cake. That's and it's so moist. It's like a pound cake. Mm. Um, oh my gosh, so good. And it's so, would, it's so and easy think, to do. Oh my gosh, yes, I could do some uh, fries and they taste like french fries, but you can bake in it. Like that really is, you will find this to be one of the most used appliances in your house. We leave ours out. We don't never put it away. We don't put it under the cabinet. It stays out because we literally use ours that much. And then it's really fun to discover all the things you can do with it, right? Because right. that's really cool. First, you'll just do some real basic stuff. And then you'll say, well, wait a minute, I'm just gonna throw in the air fryer and see if it works. For example, you've got home fries. How how about carrots? How about mini meatloaves? How about s'mores? Uh, yes, bring it. And right you've there. never seen a s'more like what you're about to see. So, <laughs> graham cracker, chocolate, one marshmallow. This, in three minutes, is gonna be the best looking s'more you'd ever seen without lighting a fireplace, without going outside, without worrying about it catching on fire, because which kid does not catch their, their marshmallow Oh, I do, fire. I always catch my And then it's fire. black, yeah. and then you're eating basically carbon, which I is I pretty much do that most of my life. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I always burn my marshmallows. I don't have the patience to brown them. Oh no, it got caught. <laughs> I just let them flame up. By the way, stay tuned to see that in the hot dog. They'll both kind of blow your mind. So here's a souffle. Ooh. It got too, Tracy did too good of a job. It got too high. Right, it got too tall, so the top actually got stuck on top, oh, which is funny. funny, which is fine. <laughs> but what you can also do, and this is a trick, you can let these souffles chill, yeah, upside down. It'll go, they go and flay a little bit, and then you can pop it out. So we're just oh, gonna fun. let that there, and it'll pop out. So, okay. so that's that. Actually, I'm sure some chef created that when their souffles didn't work. Like, oh no, I meant to do that. You flip oh, it upside oh, down. Oh, <laughs> like, voila. You know, it was a French chef too. Oh, for gosh totally. sakes. Okay. Uh, by the way, this normally is $189 and worth every last penny. Tonight, though, check this out. We are at what do you do? $99.95. That is a whopping $90 off. I mean, that's a really big deal. <gasps> by Look the way, that. okay, so. I went to a very fancy restaurant the other day. Right. And they served Brussels sprouts that were caramelized, right? Right. And every order was $15 a plate. $15? It was crazy. It's very expensive. It's a silly place. I, I love the fact you can get, and I hate Brussels sprouts, and right. I ate every last one on that plate. But this air fryer can look do it that. for but, pennies. And look how many Brussels sprouts it came out. I mean, look at this little tight machine, smaller than a rice cooker, right? Smaller than your toaster. Um, and you can even roast corn, right? because I'll just do three, it's too tall. So as opposed to grilling corn, huh. This is how you roast corn. Yeah. Isn't that like, funny? Because like, like you your wouldn't Mexican think, corn. you'd think you'd have to steam it or you'd have to grill it. Right. But you oh, actually no. can air fry it. Absolutely. I have not tried that yet. We gotta try that. And one. then here is our our mac and cheese. Right? Oh Which my goodness. We love. And this is definitely a serving for at least two. Oh. Maybe three, but definitely two people. This, That's a lot. Yeah. 
That's a pound. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a lot of mac and that's cheese. That's a pound of mac and Can't cheese. Can't wait. Explain too, because I mean, this is pretty amazing. It's pasta. You're thinking, oh no, I got to boil it. I got to do all these steps. Well, no, the pasta was boiled. Yeah, boiled. But then yeah. still, after the boiling, and though, then, you just had to put it in there and, and bake yeah. it. Yeah, and basically. then you just bake it, and right. then you you mix all the fantastic and look. Oh, oh. look, <laughs> look so at good. that. But look at the quantity out of an oh. air fryer. Actually, look how that's much, enough to feed four. Look how much mac and cheese comes out of the air fryer. Yeah, that's four people I mean, that, I, I could bet $100 that anyone walking by like, this made that. Like, there's no way that no one would this ever little it. machine yeah. Yeah. came out with that And you know what's really interesting, too, is you think, well, I gotta turn on the oven, I gotta make the pasta, I gotta mix it all, put it in a, in a, in a Pyrex glass, then I gotta put it in a hot oven, and the hot oven takes forever, and yep. it has to preheat. That's the cool thing about this, no preheating. You literally put this stuff in, and within minutes, it's gone from beginning to end, right. and it's done it so quickly. And once again, remember, if you love fried foods, but you're trying to eat healthier, air frying is absolutely the way to go. Don't oh, you think, Absolutely. Chef? you don't have to add any fat. Right. Right? right. And you, they always say, well, you can't get things crispy then. Well, yes, you can. And the other great use of an air fryer, when you turn it on low, it's a dehydrator, right? So we had that great spiralizer, made apple chips, you dehydrate, right? This is kale. And listen wow. to this crunchiness. Hear that? Oh, my goodness. Kale That's chips. Brilliant. And this kale chips would be, I don't know, eight or ten dollars a bag. Yeah. They're a so store. expensive. This probably costs 70 cents. That's right? Great. Just a little bit of salt. Potato chips done. Get out. No oil. Crispy just chickpeas. Just thin slice the potatoes. Just thin slice, thin thin slice potatoes into the air fryer. And that, because potatoes stick, that you got to go in and mix it a couple of times. Sure, right? but because, I mean, because come on, that's flat. amazing. But it's, um, and it's also, um, and this non stick on the interior. So again, you're not going to yeah, have a sticky. Yeah, thank you. It's technical on plus, yes, not just non stick. Plus, yeah, it's technical on plus non stick. So you're not going to have a mess to clean up. It's going to wipe out. You can throw the interior pieces into the dishwasher if you want to. Um, Matt, I'm sorry I missed your update. I think the black is almost gone. Okay, so last chance to get the black. What I'll have left in a couple minutes is the red. With everybody now on the lines, we're down to about the last 400 total. And again, huge savings. So this is your last chance. We're at sellout quantities. The price will go up to $189 in two hours. And again, oh, there it is. This Wait, is the everybody guys. stop. <laughs> Look at this marshmallow. You're so cute. Look at that beautiful color on this that, marshmallow. Look, Look at this chocolate that is so melting. That is a s'more. That's, that's ooh la la is what that is. That is an unbelievable yeah, s'more. That is good. Right? And that and was a normal sized marshmallow, right? It, it was, Or was yeah. that the little bigger one? Well, this is big. It's the grandes. Is it, but look how yeah. fabulous oh, that is. Oh, God, but it's so it's good. It's not charred and burned like oh, my no, marshmallows. Oh, no, they're perfect. And by the way, that took two and a half minutes. Wait, is the hot dogs ready? No, oh, yeah. well, I, I'm sure Chef, and I certainly don't get excited about hot dogs until he puts them in here. And then all of a sudden you're like, okay, that is the greatest hot dog cooker ever in the whole right, world. Let's see how we did here. Oh, yeah. Look okay, at here this. we are. Here we are. Look at these dogs. Okay. Think about This is better than at a baseball game. Yeah. Look at these. They're, they're, they got the sure, snap. Sure. Look at the right? snap. Look at the they snap. They actually, there's just, that's a perfect dog <laughs> one. It just starts to split, right? Isn't that crazy? But look at the color on these. And they almost doubled in size. I was going to say they puff up. Because, you know, the, the air, that hot air cooks it on all sides from everywhere. And look at that. the best thing about a hot dog is it's snap. And you got to get that cup. And this wait, is. Wait, wait, can you, wait, can right? you show the end of it, what you're yeah. talking about right there? So they split. But look at that. Can I just show you that? It's, oh. it's the same color splitting there. Same color all around, to your point. <laughs> Heat from the side, from above, from below. Wait, okay, if I had a boil, a, a pot of boiled hot dogs versus this sitting in front of you, and you could pick between the two, which one are you going for? You I'm, know darn well you're going here. <laughs> it's like I can go to Fenway or Yankee Stadium, I'm going to go to Fenway. <laughs> That's right, <Duh>. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I just lost he, all my New York He's from Boston, oh, well, sorry. Yeah. He's, a, he's kind of a Massachusetts guy. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> All right, these also just started splitting. These are beautiful. I'm gonna just put them right here. These are the mozzarella sticks. Oh, we gotta split these right. out. Wait, watch this. These are gonna oh, be look hot at that. too. Well, okay, now you can hear the crunch. Like they really do have all the texture we want, but watch, watch the interior. Oh, these are so oh, they're hot. And Whoa. we added no, we added no look extra oil. No, and we're not frying right? them. We're not deep oh, frying these. them. These are so darn hot. I'm putting it down. Um, there's no deep frying. Oh, so good. You're not getting a pan and putting a bunch of hot oil in there. Do you know if you want to do chicken inside here? Oh my gosh. You do a panko covering over a chicken breast, yep. put it inside here, it'll be some of the best chicken you've ever eaten. Because you know what? I think when you fry, you're coating all the food, and so yep. we, we don't really taste the 
the genuine flavors of the food. We just taste a lot of grease, basically. This eliminates all that. So all this yummy stuff that you feel guilty about eating, you don't have to feel guilty anymore about it because you're not uh, deep frying and, and it. And these are so crispy. I don't, I don't oh, know if you're crazy. gonna hear. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Is that onion rings? No, these, right, onions, yeah. oh. Took, oh, these oh. onion rings uh. took four minutes. Oh. Right? Can you hear it? It's like, it's like they were just fried. I don't know if you can hear me crunch. Yeah. I know, I mean, but I want to... Unbelievable. He goes, keep your mouth shut. You want to hear the crunch? That's going great. All right, um, cookbook. How many cookbooks do I have left? Okay, I have 600 cookbooks left. And um, really quickly, Chef, while you show yep. the next thing, how about doing cake balls? How about desserts? How about bacon Brussels sprouts? See what you did. How about chipotle soy sweet potato home fries? Carrots with fennel, rosemary potatoes, beef stir fry strips. Yep. Now that's a brilliant idea. Now this is everything you can do inside here. Dijon jo uh, soy flank steak. Yeah, you Brilliant. could put, you season your steak, you put it in, you Good. cook it on the side and slice Pork chops. So you it's did not, stuffed pork so chops, salmon. The misconception is you can only reheat in an air fryer. Bologna. Yeah. You can cook, cook. in an air fryer. Yeah. You do, but reheating it, it is, it is, is actually most, really it, good. It though. is. It's fantastic reheating, but it is truly a turbo chef little convection oven. Right. That also, which I love, because I have a really fancy oven, double decker, looks beautiful, costs a lot of money, takes about 20 minutes to get to 350 degrees. Yeah, really? The amount of energy, the amount of gas, the amount of impatience, <laughs> is that's not a word, that I have. You impatient? Yeah, can you believe <laughs> this? Oh, gets never. hot in 10 seconds. Yeah. Because it's so small and that and you see how that air comes around a tornado of hot air 10 seconds it's hot yeah and that's no how you can do you all this preheat. No, so there's you don't no preheat you don't have to turn your stove on you, and yeah. you don't have to how many of you have got this you bought a deep fryer you know deep fry machine right. when was the last time you used yeah, it is it in the back of the cabinet with a bunch of dust on it and then when you did use it you hated the cleanup so much yep. that you never used it again Been get there. the taste get the flavor none of the guilt with air frying all right here we go we're down to the final 400 i've got about four well, how many minutes four minutes to go the black is now sold out you've got to go to the red but that's okay it looks great it doesn't you know to me I don't think it's a big deal um, as I said we leave our air fryer out on our counter we never put it away and you know and I live in a very small house space in my real estate in my kitchen is super valuable if I leave something out you know it must be something that you use all the time because you don't want to keep having to pull it out because we use it so often so grab this and also you know what's interesting about your air fryer it doesn't take up a lot of space at all in fact oh, no, you see small. this Footprint. It's a real, and a lot of air fryers are very big yep. and they're very bulky. This one is more effective, but you can see it's a very small footprint. It's not that large. And, and for the record, we, did, we haven't gone over this. But for the record, this goes in the dishwasher. This goes in the dishwasher. You're done. Yeah. That's it. You don't need it. You can wipe this down if it gets, you know, messy on the outside. Sure. So here's that raspberry souffle. So that's what you can do with the souffle if... If it, if it dégonflés, <laughs> that's just as delicious. And here we have these are all oh, these are the cinnamon buns we put in. Oh, get out of it! Now is this package? Do you like? Can you throw in just a package of cinnamon buns? Oh yeah. Oh please. Oh, you can do that. Oh, look at these. I'll just I'll leave them in there because I like. Oop, I like them hot. But how long wow. did that take? Six minutes. Six, is it six minutes. minutes. Right? Can you imagine hey, freshly baked cinnamon buns? Your oven is not even heated up. Oh, in not six even. Minutes. And by the way, who has time in the morning? when You have two kids trying to get to school. <laughs> right. and, and by the way, who also makes hot freshly baked cinnamon buns for your children? Nobody. <laughs> not a lot of us, <laughs> honestly. Although I do. Well, you can now, right? Because I have that. I mean, it's a lot easier. Well, really, uh, if you had the little baking pan, you could do omelets inside here, couldn't you? You could absolutely. do a little, a little. You know, mini frittata. Oh, how absolutely. Cool would a mini frittata be in here. Now look at this. Look, look how cool this. This is roasted. Now, oh, uh, oh, there that, that, that was a, that was not a good piece of corn. That was a slippery one. Yeah, no, no, no. That, I could, that was an oddball corn. <laughs> you never put three ears out, only two. But completely cooked and got a nice caramelization on it, right? All right. Again, we're down to the final 350 left. I've got a lot of you on the phone lines. If you can, go to hsn.com and it's a couple clicks and then you've got yours ordered. We have the red remaining. Really try this, too. And if you've made a commitment, and I did before Thanksgiving, I decided I was really going to alter how I was eating and for a life, not just for a diet, but for a life. This is a key component to that because I get all the yum. I get the crunch. It tastes like real chicken wings with zero of the guilt because you use no oils, no butters. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Also,
also, I want to show you the baking set, but you saw Chef, okay, here we go. You saw Chef use it multiple times. He just did the cinnamon rolls. He did that amazing, amazing. What happened to that? Oh, here it is, the lava cake. Yep. There are 200 left if you want the baking set. Again, Technolon nonstick, so it's durable, it's easy cleanup. Those work specifically and were designed for this unit. So it is available, but I only have 200. Um, okay, Chef, what else are you gonna show we, us? We've cooked everything. We hit, These were the frozen chicken breasts, right? Oh, crazy. And completely cooked through, right? <laughs> I mean, awesome. they were rock hard, right? So you can tell these are now cooked through, which is awesome for, what was that, nine minutes? From and frozen. It really is amazing. And they were fr it frozen. Is. I mean, I they mean, were, were really yeah. frozen. And, we're t and you can, yeah, you can just see. So you want, you want to make sure when you have your wow. chicken, look at that. And it's That's moist. That's moist chicken yeah. that came out of an air fryer. How is it it's moist? Because people think air, convection, it would dry the heck out of it. That, it's, you know what? It, it's a great question. But when you can... When you can come in from all sides with the same intense heat at once, it seals it, right? No it actually, kidding. it actually, the little uh, minor effect happens. So then that's a, you can't see it, but like a crust formed, and that helps keep stuff. Oh, moist. it's kind of like the concept of frying. When you fry right, yeah. it seals it all in. But now you don't have the oil, and you don't have exactly. all the calories, you don't have all the guilt that goes with it. But you have more flavor. You definitely will have a rich, enriched flavor when you're eating air fried food. It's yeah. amazing, really. That's all right, right, so we have to wrap it up. We will let you know when it's all gone. The red is the only one that's now available. Just want to mention again, if you really want to take yours to the max level, go for the cookbook to go along with it and that baking set. All right, coming up, and we're all really excited about this because Chef, through the Today's Special, has launched brand new technology outside and inside of his very famous cookware. Some of the most popular cooker we own and we have here at HSN is Chef Ming Tsai. What he did, though, is he has a brand new hammered texture that's so rustic and beautiful and gorgeous, but very durable and then what's now called Midnight Steel.